power in literature. Textual evidence, a la Shmup. So, uh, um, so as, as we think through the, the, the process of showing and not telling and the, the, the elements and weapons that writers use to kind of deploy their, their wares, um, talk to us how that works as we analyze things with textual evidence. What is textual evidence? The number one most important thing in literary analysis is textual evidence. You will see high school students, college students, PhD students, professors analyze literature and they're just like, this is what I think happens. And you're like, you can't, that's, you can't do that. You have to say, this is what I think because, and then you pull out a quote and you say, here's what it says in the book and I'm gonna analyze that. Um, I like to call that close reading because you're reading it closely. Uh, you're pulling out a quote and you're saying, see that word choice? Using that word makes the, us think that the character is actually feeling this way even though you know, the author said they're feeling this way. Um, so really picking apart quotes is so important in literary analysis. Um, and it doesn't always have to be a quote. You can kind of just mention a more general concept that's happening in the book. But if you write an essay and you just go off in your own little world and don't bring it back to the text, you're not doing solid literary analysis. What is the best way to obtain textual evidence? Um, well, because I love literature, I think the best way to read literature is just to read it through first. Um, sometimes you don't have time to read the book twice, uh, but if you do, I would suggest reading through once to just feel it. And, you know, that's how literature was intended. Authors don't write books expecting students to write term papers about them. <laughs> um, they write them because, you know, it evokes this humanity from us and uh, makes us feel. So I like to read a story or a book first, and then I go back uh, and do the underlining and the highlighting, preparing your text and picking out key moments. Got it. Okay. Okay, so that was Symbol Settings and Themes, a la Shmup with Deb Tennant, and uh, we'll look for you on our website. Come. Bye. <laughs> What is textual evidence? What is the best way to obtain textual evidence? Mmm, tasty. <laughs>